Hey everybody, welcome back to another diecast review. Today we are taking a look at another custom. This is Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s 2000 Richmond race win. This was his second career win. And this was, um, well, they're both customs up to this point, but this one is an elite. So uh, we have seen the Texas one already. This is the Richmond. So uh, it is a custom, which means it's basically just a standard 2000 Monte Carlo with added additions. You can see it is written down there that it is the Richmond version, just so that way uh, I can see it from the outside of the box. All right, so moving on to this car, you'll see first things first, the bright orange valence around the bottom of the car. That was pretty much standard for Dale Earnhardt Jr. in his rookie season. You can see the biggest thing about his rookie season is the Budweiser was not cursive. It was uh, just a basic capital uh, letter, capital B, um, but it was not the capitalized, or the, I keep saying capitalized, cursive. It was not the cursive font. Uh, so we got Bud, King of Beers there. You see we got number eight. You can see a couple of marks down there along the left side, uh, right here along the right left front uh, wheel, and then a couple down there along the exhaust pipes. Got Dale Earnhardt Jr. up there on the name rail. We got Oreo, Budweiser, Snap-on. Uh, we got the Outlaw. Um, as you go to the back here, you can see we have Bud, official beer of NASCAR, the rookie stripes on there, along with Remington Arms. Uh, inside the rear, we do have our fuel cell and everything like that. No braces or tethers um, on this one here. I don't know if that was standard in 2000. Uh, however, it does have opening roof flaps, so that is kind of a neat little addition, is that it does have its roof flaps there. Um, we go around to the right side. This is where some of the detail really picks up. You can see we do have a big right side uh, wheel mark there, uh, a little bit down here along the right rear, but not too bad. Uh, you can see we got the black stripes that go kind of from the bottom to the to the very end here one of the things about them is it goes literally from the top of the tail light all the way down to the middle of the wheel well so there is an angle of it that allows it to go all the way across the car and that's with all the stripes there you can see the little bit of black along the skirt as well um, but yeah the wheel mark is the big part of this one as you get to the front you can see we've got the uh, brake ducts there those are obviously added on extra you can see the black mark there right by the left or the right side headlight um, you can see we've got a little bit of rubber buildup or like some of the rubber detail but otherwise it's pretty darn clean uh, once we go ahead and pop this open uh, you can see the hood underneath um, so there's the engine detail uh, radiator and stuff up front here along with the brake ducts, uh, right, little radiator right there. So um, overall, the detail, um, let's see, there we go. You can see we got DIN number 3738, and then we got uh, 2000 Richmond written on there, so you can see exactly what it is. But um, the car definitely has some good detail. Um, it's not going to stay in my collection, um, mostly because I don't remember the race. I wasn't watching NASCAR at the time. So at this point, it just kind of didn't make sense for me to keep it in the in the collection with some of the stuff where uh, I remember it and stuff. So uh, just my personal preference there, but it's going to go to a good home. Somebody, uh, some junior fan there out there is going to get themselves a good, uh, good nice custom to, to go with their junior win. So I'm, I'm pretty happy to know that. So uh, anyway, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. Pretty short one here. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Turn on the bell, subscribe, all that fun jazz. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I already said that. Yeah, yeah we're all good. So thanks for watching. This has been Race Craze. And we'll see you in the next Diecast Review.